Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. Normally you would be making burned ends out of the tips of the brisket that you overcooked and got a little bit of crispy. But we are going to make it as a recipe that you can make at home for your family with a chuck. And the reason that I use chuck instead of brisket is that it's just a fraction of the price. And most of the time you don't need a, like a seven kilogram brisket. Who's going to eat all of that? For me, today, and my family, this is going to be more than enough because with burned ends you get these heavy textures with sauce on them that will fill you up in no time. This chuck is the perfect size. And this beautiful chuck has a great amount of intermuscular fat. All of that fat is going to render down and become nice and juicy. Now I'm going to season it with this barbecue rub that I made. It consists of one part table salt, one part ground black pepper, half a part paprika powder, half a part onion powder, quarter part garlic powder, half a part dried oregano and half a part dried parsley. Mix it up and then it's time to start putting it onto our beautiful chuck roast. Now don't be scared that you're getting too much of it on there because we want a nice big ass. I shouldn't say things like that. Why? Why? My mouth. It's but you just, do want it. I want that big crust. Yeah. But I don't want to say things like um, I don't want to say it. This is going to give a beautiful Italian style of seasoning. We've played around with it before and now we got it absolutely perfect. Of course we're going to need this on both sides. There we go. Now of course I want to season these on all sides. But we also want to make sure that we don't use all of this rub because we're going to need some of it for our barbecue sauce later on. Because I've got a beautiful barbecue sauce coming up with fresh peaches. It's going to be so good, Marcin. You're going to love this. Peaches? Peaches. Millions of peaches. Peaches for free. Oh. <laughs> Look at this, Chuck. Oh, it's so well seasoned now. Big crust on the outside already. And once we start smoking this, it's going to be so good because the outside's going to dry out real nice and give you that crunch, the perfect thing for our burned ends. Let's fire up our Kettle Joe. I'm super excited because this is the first time I'm going to be using the Kettle Joe. I already burned it in when we unboxed this, but I'm so curious to see how it handles a low and slow cooking session. Let's put some charcoal in. I'm using hardwood charcoal. That's going to give me a long burning time. I'm going to put in two fire starters and light them up. Now I'm just going to wait until the fire starters burned out and our charcoal is lit up. We don't need all the charcoal to be lit up. Just a little bit of gray and red is going to do just fine. Whoa, I can't believe it. We haven't made it to 500,000 subscribers yet. What? Why are you guys not subscribing? Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. Make sure you watch every video. Do us a favor. And while you're at it, don't forget to destroy the like button of this video. It's going to help us with the YouTube algorithm. Let us pop up and enjoy the summer together. Boom. Charcoal, it's ready. It's ready. Now the first step is adding some smoke wood. I'm adding beech tree to the charcoal and this is go slowly going to start up. I'm already getting the whiff of it. Look at that smoke. It's going to give us the perfect flavor profile that we are used to here in Europe. I'm going to add the slow roller and this is so cool about this grill. This whole section that, that's in here, well let me put it in first. You can take the whole thing off. It's a whole section. This is the normal barbecue and then you add this to it. Which basically makes the distance between the charcoal and the meat a lot greater. And the plate makes sure you have indirect heat. So you get a creation where you have the perfect situation to get a good amount of smoke for your meat. Now I can put in my grill grates. There we go. And we're ready to start smoking our chuck. On goes our beautiful chuck. What a bad boy. <laughs> now you can see the real size when it sits in the barbecue. Of course, I gotta put my thermometer in to make sure we get in, keep our eye on that temperature. Now we're going to let this sit and let the barbecue do its job. Close the lid, close the bottom vent to almost one finger open and then this cool top vent. Look at it, 
How cool is that? To the first stripe, you always want to make sure that the top vent is a little bit more open than the bottom because you want draft. So you're controlling the temperature with the bottom vent. I'm going to wait until the chuck hits a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius and then I'm going to take a look at it. Our chuck is a little over 70 degrees Celsius. Wow, look at that. Look at that crust. Beautiful. Nice thick crust we're building up. We got a nice smoke profile going on. It looks good already and the slow roller is really doing a great job. The greases are dripping down onto that plate. We get a lot of smoke coming from the wood, from that little bit of grease that's condensing. This is really, really looking good. But because it's such a, a flat piece of meat, I don't want to dry it out in the last section of the cook. So we're going to actually wrap this up and let it continue to cook in our butcher's paper. I put the meter probe back in. I'm going to let this continue to cook. And once you hit that temperature, you always want to make sure that your beef is tender. So you're going to take a toothpick and you're going to stick it in. And if it goes in like butter, you know it's done. Oh, look at how juicy this is. It's insane. Woo! Now that is a beautiful chuck. We're going to cut it up, but before we do that, I got this tray where I'm going to put the burns and ends in and I want to make sure that I get all of that grease, all of that juice, all of that flavor into my a little pan. Because you don't want to waste that. That's good stuff. Now I'm going to cube this up into big chunks. But we can make a luxury version of it by cutting them into thick pieces. Look at it. Beautiful smoke ring, juicy, beautiful crust on the outside. If I could squeeze it, look at it, it's nice and spongy. I gotta do it. I gotta do it too, man. No, no, you don't have to. I'll do it for you. Don't worry. <laughs> no, okay. You can have a piece too. Oh, man. That's good stuff. Why does this always happen when we gotta put things over it? It's always good. But the sauce is so good too. You have to admit, we tried secretly, tried the sauce. And we've been sneak trying it for ever since. And this sauce is really easy to make because you start with a kilogram of peaches and you're going to de-seed them. Then you're going to chop them fine, melt some butter in a pan, add the peaches to the pan and let the peaches become soft. Once they're soft, you're going to grind them down with the blender until you have a smooth puree. Add 100 grams of sugar to make it even more sweet. But of course you got to test this because you need to figure out how sweet you're going to like your barbecue sauce and how sweet your peaches are. My peaches are super sweet. Then add 200 milliliters of ketchup and one tablespoon of Worcester sauce. Mix it up and your barbecue sauce should look like this. I got to stop. I got to put it in a tray right now. Otherwise there's going to be nothing left. All right, all right. We almost forgot about her. You think she wants some? The dog says it's approved. I'm going to put all of these in the tray. Then I'm going to put the barbecue sauce on top. I'm going to set it back in the barbecue and let it continue to cook. Making sure that that barbecue sauce sticks to the chunks. And then, only then, it's ready to eat. All right. I think we don't have to talk about this. We just have to eat it. Dude, this looks like freaking awesome. It does, it does. It looks really good. We got a little bit of that crunch on the outside, but the whole tray is like a goodness dish. It's like, it looks freaking awesome. What a ride. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, unfortunately, uh, something went wrong. Yes. 
And we uh, found out? Like two things went wrong. Okay, hit me. Two things went wrong. Yes. No audio. Yeah. Second thing, we went really crazy on this platter. We ate it all. We ate it all. The guys from the construction ate it all. Eva even licked the whole bowl. It's completely empty, cleaned <laughs> out, gone. I want this on record. Yeah. I think you're trying to sabotage. I'm sabotaging everything here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, want your own course. show. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going out with you a bang. Could, you, no, you're going to try and mess up every video that I make now to make yeah. me look bad so you get your own show. Yeah. <laughs> Until I get my own show. Yeah, of course. So, okay, let's get back to the point. No audio. No audio. But we got to tell them what we experienced. I here. think you deserve to know that these were the best burned ends ever. Like the good thing about these burned ends is that the peach sauce wasn't too heavy. You know, no. it was not like your, you said like, uh, it's, it's not fruity. like you're eating a fruit punch or something. Like no, that. no, it's, it's fruity, not a fruit punch. Yes, in a sweet way. Yeah. Like a sweet, peachy, velvety, soft yeah. way. And it didn't, to me, it didn't taste like peaches. I'm so upset we don't have that audio. Yeah, I know. Um, you have to comfort me, you have to give me 500,000 likes because otherwise I'm gonna cry right now. Otherwise I'm gonna get fired. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Better close up the video now. <laughs> That's a great idea. If you don't give us 500,000 subscribers, I'm gonna fire Morrison. So it's it's gonna, either time, way, how much it's time? gonna go completely bad. Or, but you're like... How much time do we have? <laughs> I'm right. gonna... I'm, from now on, I'm gonna give it two weeks. Whew. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below and subscribe. See you guys next time. Until then. It's smakelijk. That's right. And thanks all the patrons and YouTube members. That's right. And keep on grilling. Cheers. See ya. Mess up. Like it's... <sighs> well, everybody loved it. <laughs> the, recipe, <laughs> the, the recipe is down below.